Hello people of the world, welcome back to my channel. What's going on everybody? As you can see we are back on some more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies. This is Voyage of Despair, the brand new map for Black Ops 4. Um, so yeah, this Jordan Phoenix Rain Shield, Jordan Brace, we are coming to around 59. We're just grinding, leveling up. We got a lot higher than I expected to. Um, this is my highest round on Voyage of Despair. Um, we'll see what round we can get to. We're trying to get to Proceeds 2. Um, we're racing to Proceeds Master, level 1000. So let's go ahead and get to this, guys. Of course, it's Jordan Phoenix 22 or Jordan Brace. Let's go ahead and get into this. Target down. Swordfish camo. Camels will give you a lot more speed than some. Don't let the fight you can't win. So make sure you uh, level up those camels. I believe you get the camels for life. You don't lose them. Ever I believe. Keep them for life. Hi, Eve. Welcome back, dude. How are you doing? Die, Mr. Big Guy. You're all lucky, Adam. My boot heel through your freaking eye sockets! Oh no you don't, don't Mr. Zombie. I don't mixes with these bad flavor, but... Whew. I should have more. You swing a mean shovel, but you know, it's a fucking shovel. And of course guys, we've only got three more hours until the Titanic sinks. Three more hours, boys. Yeah. And then we're dead. Am I joking? <laughs> but imagine that was like that. You you have a race until till the Titanic sinks. Boy, if like the Titanic did sink, like you only can survive three hours on the map. Kind of shit for high rounds, but it'll be kind of cool. Maybe you can turn that mode on and off. How long did it take? I think about eight hours. I'm not sure, but I think it was eight hours. You can check on the full gameplay. There's seven parts to the series. Just add all seven parts up um, and find out. I think it was about eight hours or maybe more. Bear in mind, I was only around 121, so eight hours, you know. Gonna need more ammo. A lot sooner than I'd like. Level up. Level 53, boys. Round 60. My highest round by far on this map. Did you 
take breaks? Yeah, I took loads of breaks. I just paused the game. I paused the stream. You see? My steady hands come in useful outside the workshop. Yeah, I normally take about I six it, breaks. You're normally. You think we on average. Just because I don't see the point of grinding non-stop. Someone had to end your misery. If you can pause the game, I take breaks. If you can't, if I'm playing online, I never take breaks then. I guess it's like a world record attempt online, then I'll, um, I'll get someone to hold the zombie for about 12 hours, and then um, we'll come back on. By eight hours sleep, and then uh, about four hours of doing stuff, so. I'm coming for you, Bone Basket, and I want at least three spins. I'm just hitting the box to try and get my challenges. Challenges give you XP, so you might just try and do those challenges. Zombie that bro. Look, I need a shield. Go and get a shield. Let's go get a zombie shield. All these freaks sure burn through in here. Down the staircase, down you. Forty nine thousand to level fifty four. Of course, I can end the game when I max level. Um, that's why this thing would be a world record attempt. I was always do a world record the tempo was. It's just uh the level up side of it. You think strength in numbers gives you an advantage? It does. This whole damn day's gotten crazy. I'm just riding to the fucking occasion! Forty-eight thousand. Look at those headshots. Level eleven. And that, as they say. Is that? Any more questions, Rebo, Ethan? 
Eat, what's your highest round um, on zombies so far in Black Ops 4? If you've prayed it. Fingernails, if I have to. <laughs> Good news, skin scouts. I'll be going hand to hand. Hand to hand. Soon. What's your favourite map so far, Ethan, um, out of four, four zombie maps? Voyage of Despair, um, Nine, or Mob Brothers of the Dead, or Classified? What's your favourite out of the four so far? And if you don't know, um, just just uh, watch some gameplay and then give me your answer soon, like in the next like, 24 hours. Um, my favourite zombie map so far, I haven't played enough Nine or Voyage of Despair. But my favorite map right now, overall, has to be classified. It's the one I spent the most time in. It's the one I got the world record in. It's, it's the one I enjoy the most right now. The sooner the better. You're lucky I don't throw your rotten asses overboard. I like Nine of Oysters to spray, but I don't know if I like them as much as... Brother of the Dead or Mob of the Dead. Sorry, Brother of the Dead or, um... Or, um, Classified. The last thing is to be the fire. About time. Here's our chance to nab some decent firepower. I could hurt you. Maybe mix it with a little whiskey next time. I love how all maps play different. All the maps play different. I love that. The feeling of like every time you jump into a map, you have to play that map different because the map is completely changed. Here comes Mr. Hot and Bothered again. Like all four maps feel different to me. They don't feel like Treyarch has just copied and pasted them. Like Brother of the Dead feels nothing like Mob of the Dead, and Classified feels nothing like Five. And that's a good remaster. Low ammo? Oh, damn it. What you have in that old map, but better. Round sixty two. I still don't understand the new reboarders yet on Black Ops Four. Still trying to work that out. I'm sure we'll get there and we'll work it out. But right now it's so far new. Insta kill. If it 
puts down these tools faster, then yes. I'm interested. You look surprised. You should have stopped the shoveling hole. Oh, oh, sure. I'll take the help. But don't think for a minute I'm gonna give you anything back. I'm not in the mood tonight, Slapskin. Talk it down. Pretty six thousand XP. I love it how Mob of the Dead has his own boss. Um, Nine has his own boss. Um, and of course, Classified has no boss. Well, kind of does dogs, but dogs are not really a boss. Home run. Ready four thousand. From now on, every bitch should of you that jumps overboard is getting off easy. Do I have that times two? It's times two? No, it's not. Bonus points. Everything I have, I earn. Killing all these freaks burns through ammunition. That voice doesn't sound all that friendly. I don't know what Shaw mixes or these to add flavor, but... Whew. Let's go ahead and try to get a level 54 as fast as possible. So we can get a 55 then. Finish off this level and uh, process this video hopefully. Hot stuff. The last thing this ship needs is a fire. This whole damn day's gotten crazy. I'm just Fresh your equipment the 40 times. Two and a half thousand XP there. Go ahead and level up. Soon we should be leveled up. Yeah, we're almost 20,000. Round 63. Four rounds so far in 90 minutes. That was okay. I didn't get another shield. Just give me the boost I need. 
and the strength to keep it down. Like, the Titanic is one place I wanted to visit, and I'm so glad that this map is good. Not saying that Treyarch don't make good maps, because of course they do, they make the best zombie maps, but... Um, Damn right you should fall down. I don't know, it's just, some of their maps have been like, yeah, they're okay. And then some of their maps have been like, oh my god, this map's mind-blowing. So I'm glad that Voyage to Spray was actually one of those up there maps. Not mind-blowing, but it's definitely an up there map. It could have been bigger, to be honest with you, I think Voyage to Spray is a bit of a small map. I expected the Titanic map to be much bigger, but I think they had limitations with the PS4, and they were like, what can we do, you know, and they thought, yeah, let's make this massive map, and then they realized the limitations are still there, so they had to limitate it a little bit. Is it small? Hell no, but... Definitely not this huge zombie map that we all thought Voyage of Despair was going to be. Nine, nine's a medium sized map where Voyage of Despair is a medium to large map. I don't think um, Voyage of Despair is the biggest map we've had. You've had some huge big zombie maps. off you uh, every time he hits you the boss so he does definitely hurt you someone had to end your misery and you definitely don't want to let him hit you more than twice so you're dead especially if you're playing on normal mode you only hit you twice and you're dead this gun out yet. Yeah. Seems to get all these zombie kills and no level up like. There we are, 1300 XP there. I'm gonna need more ammo. Not sooner than I'd like. Nineteen thousand XP left. I think there's only fourteen levels in assault rifles. 
I say only, but that, that's nothing. That's a lot of levels. Double points. Just getting headshot kills with a sword fist now. And I sense I'm not far from getting max. I probably got about 500 headshots with the sword fist. You see? My steady hands come in useful outside the workshop. So those zombies are dead now. Boss kills with this weapon if I was a weapon on Parker. Some assholes just can't take a hit. Never have. Think about it, it's quite a big award procedure. You get a hundred of all that with Cadivinium stuff. You swing a mean shovel, but you know, it's a fucking shovel. What's it like 10 with Cadivinium in. Probably less than that, sorry. Probably more than that, I mean, like 15 with Cadivinium probably in Black Ops 3. Round 65. Guess it's just me and my gloves now. It just shows. You can just go for leveling up and you can literally get whatever level you want to, get whatever procedure you want to, get whatever round you want to. Like, I didn't expect to get to round 65, boys. One thing I did not expect. Especially not on Voyage of Despair, which is easily the hardest map out of all of them. I think... And that, as they has, say, is it has two hard bosses. A lot of people complain, like, they're too hard and all that, which... They're not too hard, but they are hard. They're definitely not easy bosses. Bye, 
personally wouldn't use the term too hard. They're definitely nowhere near too hard. Carpenter. Any reason they can't always do that? Right between your stupid gray red eyes. I'm glad we got an XP system in Black Ops 4 with zombies. Same as Black Ops 3. It makes you want to pray then. Hopefully we have, and obviously we have the, um, the Divinium system, which makes you want to pray even more. But hopefully we have something else in the future to make us pray. I don't think that 1500 zombie kills is going to be... You think strength in numbers gives you an advantage? Enough to keep people praying. Hopefully we have, like, oh yeah, get 2,000 kills in two hours. Um, or, for example, there. Um, we'll get a thousand headshots in this amount of time. Out of ammo, so I have to. Uh, if you had any sense, you'd beat it before you lose something. Not only am I ready. But I am eager to kick ass. I will kill each and every one of you dead brain fucks with my fingernails if I have to. Someone has to end your misery. Target down. Scabs. I'll be going hand to hand pretty damn soon. Odin's pinch hitter's got a mean thing. That thing certainly put up a fight. This is an opportunity. Throw your rotten asses overboard. Holy shit, it just went down. Wasn't paying attention then. That's right. Don't worry about me. I'll just save my own skin. I lost quick revive and I lost. I think that's about to go down then. That happens, even to the best of players. Like me, let's see what kind of went down there, guys. Didn't think I'd ever this be shows you can get down easy. For a fully loaded gun. I'm gonna need more ammo a lot sooner than I'd like. Recognize that smell. I got two Can't self revives left. Isn't that shit corrosive? But we're not going to a super high round anyway, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Is it supposed to strip the lining from my throat? <laughs> Glad I got salmon out back because I needed that to go around the map fast, guys. Three is still going off, boys, on the Titanic. 
Oh my god, we're sinking, help me! Help us! Holy shit. We need to find some more ammo. Do not the sooner the like, better. First down in ages, man, for me. I haven't been down in zombies in like months, dude, I don't think. If I have been down, I, I forgot. I don't like the sound of that click at all. Level 55, 54, and then I'll be level 55 then. Level 12 with this weapon. I've no, I have no idea how many levels I need to get through. The swing of me and shovel, like you know. It's a fucking shovel. I'm not here to waste bullets. Six XP. You're all lucky I don't put my boot here through your freaking eye socket. Level 54. Two more levels, boys, and we're done. With this whole level up system. Then we're proceeds to. Here's level 55, how nice does that level look? It looks mint. Second procedure looks mint as hell too. Not great with first impressions, are you, deadhead? Gives you an advantage, it doesn't. I love it, you killed a fire sale. Decent toolkit. <sighs> Got things I could do.
Low ammo? <sighs> Damn it. Swordfish camo. And obviously the more camos we unlock, we have more XP as well as more camos to add on to your weapon. I think we need about 3,750 headshots with a weapon. So you do need a lot of headshots. But frankly there's a lot of zombies to kill so... And they're, really, they're on Tom Gill, uh, girls, goals. When you proceed, you don't lose those goals. You gotta redo them. You don't have to redo them or anything like that. Krayoff wanted, like, these goals to be long term. That's why it's 3,700 kills. But it's not really long term, because you can unlock that in one game. Especially if you get all the headshots. Get non shot headshots. No one. Oh, I could have made that a lot more painful. Round sixty seven. Believe me. Forty nine thousand XP until we're max level. And then we got one more level after that and we can proceed. Strength in numbers gives you an advantage. Swordfish level 15. Damn, that's crazy, bro. And I'm milking the XP right now. Because I'm leveling up all these different camos, weapons. 
I'm getting the headshots too. Yeah, I've got what? 1,492 headshots so far. So I'm milking the headshots too. Yeah, I made it quick. I was thinking of doing something really nasty. Round 68. Didn't think I'd ever be this desperate for a fully loaded gun. So I was on 105, now I'm at 108. That's for one round. See me milking the XP here, boys. Get all the camos. Run around all you want, At the end of the day, the camos, the levels, the challenges you do for a certain amount of kills, for headshots, they are the and first using a different weapon. And they are what kind of level you up. you hear me? No one! See what goes on. I really hope you're not dumb enough to think when you save a it up. Idea. Found sixty eight boys. Boss does kill your ammo. I'll be going hand to hand pretty damn soon. I've got around five thousand kills right now.
34,000. Let's try and go for the uh, the kills with the guns. You're all lucky I don't put my boot heel through your freaking eye sockets. Back for more, big guy. Show me headshots we can get here now. Found sixty nine. I don't like the Found sound of that click at this. all. Only got thirty one thousand XP left. And I can find me level up. Two max level 55. And this proceeds again another token. I'm probably gonna unlock a level 54 item. Because, as you know, it's gonna take a while to get a level 54, so having a, a level news, 54 weapon unlock on just, just makes certain fins easier to unlock. And then those end game stuff where we then I'll unlock forever. You don't want to know how much worse I can hurt you. Zombies. Killing all these freaks sure burns through ammunition. Good job of making it feel like it's a big map. But really, it's just this small location with tons of doors. But when we see next generation, we're gonna see true zombie maps that are truly big. Especially if we get seven tower forks of performance. We're not only gonna see like graphical changes, huge graphical changes, obviously, and Huge frame rate changes if seven health ops next generation. We're gonna see just so much more than that. Bigger maps, rock faster load times, 
probably no load time maybe if they decide to trade graphics and frame rate for road times. Maybe if we can try and max out the camos for these weapons. Couldn't just stay in the boiler room, could you? Stay in the boiler room, dude. This is by far the best training space in this map. It's run, because it's got to run the whole way. It's quite big and wide open here, so... Ruin your face! Got it, freak? Approaching one hour of the stream. I should make him count. I will kill each and every one of you dead brain fucks with my fingernails if I have to. You keep asking for it, bub. Now you can see what happens. I'll give you a clue. It'll hurt. Around 70, who would have thought? I didn't think I was gonna get to around 70, guys. Not on, not on this map. Yes, it's just me and my gloves now. Just because this map was so new at the beginning, obviously I expected to one day, but not around 70 right now. But obviously I need to uh, proceed, so I can't get the world record, sadly, guys. The question is, what map do you play next? Oh, we don't mind, I like all the maps. I'm coming for you, bone basket. And I want at least three spins. I think all the maps are pretty good, fair boy. Trying to get the headshots now with this gun. Fireballs. 
Every time. A lot of headshots I need to get. The side of the map, and then you can just absolutely obliterate them. I'm going hand to hand pretty damn soon. Nice ammo. I'm not too proud to admit when I need help. You're absolutely kidding me right now. Want something done right? Do it yourself. Perks have I got? It doesn't say, does it? Doesn't taste good, but it gets the job done. Target down. Yeah, I need to get Zeus back, I think. So, office level 16, bloody hell. I had no idea there was that many rebels. Still on the timer. Oh. That the DG falls effect reminds me of a grenade. You think we wanted all this? I guess the grenades can fill this self up. They're amazing. 
I'm glad they challenged it. I'll make you use different equipment though, so that you can kind of learn, learn what equipment's good and what's not. Son of Zeus. Die. You swing a mean shovel, but you know, it's a fucking shovel. Almost found 71, hopefully. Uh oh, shit. when you get a fully upgraded um, wonder weapon, it's not too bad then. I basically Bow Wow might make this point. Round 71, boys. 10,000 XP, so in total about 55,000. We need to, still quite a long left. I'm already on round 71, guys. Bloody hell. Ugh. Some assholes just can't take a hit. Talking about high rounds. All you want, scabheads. You still get a headshot. Double points. The sun may not be shining, but let's make hay all the same. I hope there's not ten procedures for weapons, because otherwise, it'll just get so hard to try and procedure your weapons. I know it'd be like. A lot of XP. Oh. But no matter what you do, you don't level up your weapons that fast. XP is kind of in gradually. Stay down, hot stuff. The last thing this ship needs is a fire. Make him count. He 
think strength in numbers gives you an advantage? It doesn't. and get some ammo. Russians, are you, deadhead? Need to find some more ammo. Round 71. The sooner the better. Go ahead and grab another shield. Can you jump off the map? No, you can't. I wonder if you can drive the ship somehow. I like how they don't max your points at a million, you can get more than that. I personally love that. So many equipment has got buffed really good. And they should keep the equipment buffed. Because it's kind of the part, kind of what main black was for right now. I'm honestly glad they brought some huge changes to Black Ops 4 because they didn't re didn't like copy and paste Black Ops 3 and put it to Black Ops 4. They completely reworked Black Ops 4. XP. Whatever that gas is, it just destroys zombies. Like a wave of them can go down. Low ammo? <laughs> Damn it.
lifeboats aren't going to save anyone. Least of all, you! XP. Mostly cards. We must prefer Black Ops 4 zombies to World at War, World, World War 2 zombies. It's up there with Black Ops 3. So far, it's up there with Black Ops 3. Someone had to end your misery. It's really hard to beat Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3 zombies, guys, because Black Ops 3 zombies done everything right. Uh, the map content was great. Was it perfect? No, but some of the maps they brought in Black Ops 3 was amazing. And some of the best maps you've ever seen. You're lucky I don't throw your they remastered maps. But already, they've released four amazing maps and two original and two brand new. So, they can definitely beat Black Ops for free, but they got a lot to live up to. Set the bar really high with Black Ops 3 and with Black Ops 4. With Didn't DLC content and free updates, can bring that bar higher once again. Thousand six hundred XP. We need to find some more ammo. The sooner, the better. Yeah, we're gonna leave it here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, comment, share for more great content from me. Of course, we got around seventy-two so far. Pretty amazing. I imagine we got about an hour of gameplay left before we uh, level up to max level so hopefully we can go to about round 80 guys on Voyage to Spear before then um, and get a nice little round 80 in there um, obviously 123 of that stuff so we're getting tons of that stuff guys um, grinding in the hell out to get tons of it thank you so much don't forget to support the channel and yeah, this is Jordan Fish 2 or Jordan Brace, and catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.